If you want to find true happiness, true inner peace and balance, then this is the video for you. Happy New Year! <laughs> It's actually very weird that like this is actually posting on New Year's Eve, so it's like almost the new year, right? If you're watching this after midnight, happy New Year's. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to give you all the practical steps that I did in 2022 to bring the most inner peace I've ever had in my freaking life so that you can do the same thing in your life this coming year. advice before we go into all of this is just like don't go crazy and try to do all of these things all at once because it can get overwhelming and you'll end up just throwing in the towel and giving up and not doing any of it so choose one every few weeks maybe even one a month to just really focus on and harness in and create some type of habit or routine with this and then just build on that almost like building a house with bricks okay we want to stack and accumulate all of these things or whichever ones really speak to you these all worked amazingly for me so I really hope they do for you too in no particular order Let's start with number one, not consistently living in a state of reaction. Now this one's truly going to take some work, but it has been transformative in my inner happiness, peace, and growth. So anytime you get triggered, you feel annoyed, frustrated, angry, sad, fill in the blank. I want you to bring that awareness in, notice that you're having that feeling to whatever that trigger is, and bring the awareness in and see how your mind and your body are both automatically reacting to that trigger. And then you just wanna simply shift to the mindset of, who cares, I'm not going to let this ruin my mood or my day. An example of this for me personally is road rage. <laughs> I had a lot of it and the last job that I had I was driving about a thousand miles a week so a lot of driving and I was getting triggered constantly constantly getting angry having people ruin my mood you know how it is on the road and after doing what I just said and working on it over time I barely ever get even annoyed with other people while I'm driving. I never thought that would be possible. So that's just like a small example. And if you start doing that with multiple things within your life and multiple triggers, like it's just going to compound and bring you so much peace. <laughs> like it really, really will. And it may seem small, but then when you start to realize how often you get triggered throughout the day and change them all, it will change your entire world. You need to understand that negative feelings, traits, situations, they are not permanent. And allowing yourself to, to feel those emotions when they arise, like truly feel them, allow them to come out, will allow you to move through them quicker so that you can heal easier. Think about the things that you've experienced in your past when, you know, something happened and you just you never thought that you'd be able to get through it. You never thought you'd be okay again. Or maybe you, you never thought, you know, that thing would change, but it did. Maybe it was a breakup that took you a long time to get over, but you did. Maybe you were stuck at a job that made you super unhappy and unfulfilled and you never figured, you never knew how you could move on or quit or leave, but you did. So when you're going through something challenging in life, remind yourself it's okay to feel this way and i know in the end things will be okay things will work out for me but the third one i want to talk about is a little more fun and unique and that is researching the afterlife and in particular near-death experiences i can't even <laughs> i can't even tell you how much studying these have brought just an abundance of peace into my life in truly understanding as much as possible why we are here why are we here what are we meant to do who are we and i know it might sound a little out there but like trust me on this one like trust me on this one okay there's tons of articles there's tons of books there's tons of youtube videos on here that you can check out and listen to everyone's stories if you do want to learn a little bit more about the afterlife i will post this video right here so make sure to check that out after this video and if you're liking these tips so far it would mean the world to me if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel all right so moving on to number four stop watching tv before bed now look 
this has always, always been a guilty pleasure of mine. And I'll admit, even now, I probably only do that about half the time. I just, I just really like it, okay? And I also like eating in bed. <laughs> but it is one thing that I do want to improve on this coming year. But let me tell you how much I feel a difference when I abide by this and stick to this and not watch TV before bed. My quality of sleep is so much better. So the next day, you really feel it and it really, really pays off. Studies show that watching TV before bed not only disrupts our sleep patterns, but increase our chances of higher anxiety and depression. And I don't know about you, but I know that me personally, I tend to stay up way later when I'm watching TV because you just get like hooked, you know? You just get hooked and you're like, I wanna watch the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Test it out for a night or two and just see for yourself how it feels for you. You don't have to take my word for it. Just like try it for a night or two. See how you feel and let me know. And the thing is, is disrupting your sleep pattern can also affect the quality of your dreams and the information going into your subconscious mind. So if you really want to improve the quality of your life, I highly, highly recommend start working with your dreams. Dreams are a wealth of knowledge and personally a huge factor in my own personal growth, so I know it will be for you as well. Dreams are a direct line to your subconscious mind, which is where we operate out of the majority of our life. You actually have a much better chance at changing your life through your dream world, as crazy as that sounds than your waking life. To start learning how to work with your dreams, I recommend checking out this video as soon as you're done with this. So while we're focusing in this video on how to improve our lives, one of the biggest ways to actually bring inner peace in is to love and accept yourself as is right now. You can do both at the same time and in my experience, doing that is really the, the fast track of improving your life and building your dream life. It's giving yourself grace and compassion for yourself right now and knowing that you deserve the best in your life and that working towards those dreams and those goals and yourself is the way to do that. Don't be upset with yourself because you're only here at this point in your life. You've been through a lot. We all have. So allow your compassion and your desire for a better future and a better life to outweigh the comfortability of playing victim in your current circumstance. Next, and this is something that I'm still working on that has been a little challenging for me, but nonetheless, I don't give up on it. And I know you've heard it before, but there is a reason and that is meditating can be a little confusing and, and frustrating, and, and but just like anything else, there's a reason that it's called a meditative practice. Even just doing five to 10 minutes of meditation a day can change the entire direction of your life through changing the wiring of your brain and your relation to your own body and your mind and your soul. Studies show that even five minutes daily will improve your mood, reduce stress, clear your mind, and so many other things. I'll leave it at this. I have never come out of a meditation feeling worse than when I started it. If you're new to meditation, here's a video I created a while back specifically for beginners. Another way to bring in peace and happiness this year along with meditation is learning to let go and not force things. This one was huge for me in my journey to inner peace. It's understanding that everything works out for the highest good. And most times when we can't let go of something, it's because we're very attached to it. It doesn't matter if it's a job, a person, a material item, let go. Your self-worth isn't based on this thing. And anything that you're not sure how to do or how to improve, read a book. There are countless spiritual and self-development books that are just out there waiting. They're just waiting to get inside your brain. <laughs> Learning and research will seriously get you so far. Just find something that speaks to you and roll with it for as long as you want to. Take the pressure off. If you want me to make a video on my top recommended books on peace, growth, love, happiness, whatever, just let me know in the comments below. I am a avid reader. I'm consistently reading 
probably three to four books at once. <laughs> Focusing on gratitude at the beginning or the ending of every single day is much easier than people make it out to be, but it brings so, so much into our lives. And if you're having trouble with this on a particular day, just literally look around you. Maybe it's gratitude that you have a cell phone and you have the information of the world literally at your fingertips. Maybe it's the hot shower you took. Maybe it's the bed that you're sitting on. Maybe it's the car you're driving. It doesn't have to be some grand crazy thing every time. I recommend every day you find three things to be grateful for and watch that bring even more and more things in your life to be grateful for. Haha. <laughs> While all of these things have changed my life immensely this past year, there's one thing that truly overrides it all. And that is faithfully leaning in and trusting God God with everything. Honoring my walk with him and praying every day and just truly leaning in to our creator and to that relationship. Sometimes understanding him and developing your relationship with him as we all learn, as we go through life, it can be difficult. It can be difficult to understand what he's trying to communicate and say to you. So if you want to learn how to hear what God is saying to you, check out this video next. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys have found value in this video so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.